Yeah. I need to correct something. I need to get something right and start listening and start having relationships so that I can fulfill all he wants me to do. Yeah. You know, hey, you know, you talk about this all the time. Yeah. God has something for you to do. He has an assignment for you. He has a, a, yes. a mission for you. Right. And he has a call on you. And you're yes. anointed and qualified to do this. Yes. But we're still on first base. We need to get off of first base and, you know, hit a home run and go all the way around. If you hit a home run, why are you still stuck in first base? Mm -hmm. Amen. Right. With Christ, we hit home runs all yes. the time. This is back on radio. Bro. Okay. Here we go. He's equipped us to complete all he has called us to do. He's created us, called us uh, to complete our mission. If we fail or if we feel unfit or unqual, it's not because of him, but the world, friends, and yeah. us. All right. Amen. We've been listening to the world. We've been listening to friends. We've been listening to family. We've been listening to the wrong people. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we're not listening to what God has told us all the time. Yeah. And you know what? When you start listening to the world, you feel unqualified. I'm not good enough. Mm -hmm. Because you're trying to live up to them and you're trying to please the world and not please God. God Lord, you, you called me. Mm -hmm. And I know I can do all things through you because you strengthened me and called me to do these things. So I'm going to press on. I'm gonna, when you press on, meaning I'm going to step out in faith. Mm -hmm. Step out in faith. Why? Like Peter, you know, he says, walk on water. Well, you could just talk yourself out of it because he says, I can't walk yeah. on water. But if he says, come, then step out. Amen? Amen. Come on now. <laughs> all right. Let us all get, let us, let us not uh, get too busy and forget yeah. that who we are mm -hmm. and whose we are. Let's not get too busy like Martha and forget the master is here and yeah. we're not paying attention we're more focused on what's happening around us and not that the master is here with us so when you meet with him you know hey it's his time spend time with him and acknowledge him says lord i'm here amen we are God. Alive. let's not get too busy and forget about him let me see what i wrote here let's not get too busy like martha and forget it. the master is there for us and inviting us to come dine fellowship with him daily and we're missing out because we're too busy mm -hmm. let's not get too busy and acknowledge him amen be grateful for all amen we just had a well thanksgiving yeah and like we said thanksgiving we, we have a day where we yeah. celebrate thanksgiving but let every day be our thanksgiving be grateful for all he's done mm -hmm. for us daily no more excuses. Renounce sin and serve God. Amen. Admit it and quit it. Stop. Amen. That's all. Step out in faith. God has made us a way. God has made a way for you and me. Mm -hmm. We have to let go and let God. Yeah. He will guide and he will provide. Yes, he will. And I'm going to step out in faith. Mm -hmm. Amen. I'm going to trust him. When God calls you to do something, step out in faith. Don't step out in fear. Just uh, St. Corinthians 5, 7 says this. The just shall live by faith. And you know, if you're not studying the word and getting the word in you, um, then you won't walk in fear. That's it. Because you're full of fear. Mm -hmm. You know how you get the fear out of you? Is you get in the word and fill yourself up with faith. Yes. With, the word. with the word. Amen. As out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of every water. Yeah. I am stepping out in faith. That yeah. fear is not for me. Right. Amen. Praise God. Just do it. Yes. The Bible says I can do all things all through things. Christ's strength. Yeah. It. It's not just maybe. That's it's right. always. always. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Philippians 4, 13. No excuses. Just trust him. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. Jeremiah 29, 11, the uh, New Living Translation says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord, plans for well-being and not for trouble, to give you a future and a hope. God has chosen you for greatness. Can you say that? God has chosen me for greatness. Say it. You know, sometimes even if you're by yourself, confess the word so you can hear it. 
It's better that way. Confess it. Don't just be silent. You know, <laughs> we talked about the uh, the sporting events, the football games. You know, you go to an event, you go to a, a club or somewhere. You know, yeah. a, a, a concert, or you go to a place where they have some gathering, and you're not quiet. I mean, you're loud, and you let it all out. You come to church, or you read the Bible, and we quiet and silent as mice. You know. Can't say nothing, you know. Speak it, speak it out, you know. Hey, if you speak it out, maybe the person next to you is going to hear it, and they, they, they it's going to bless them. I'm believing that it will. Amen. Mm -hmm. So praise God. God wants you to be more yes. than you than than, than you dream. Yes. So say this with me. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Say it. Amen. There you go. Amen. We 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 need to confess it. This is for me. Yeah. Okay. This is for me. Mm -hmm. And if you, whenever he wants me to share it with somebody, I will. Yeah. Amen. And we have testimonies. Mm -hmm. The Bible says they overcame by the word, of the blood, blood of the blood Lamb, and by the word of their testimonies. Yeah. And when he wants you to share your testimony, when he wants you to share a word, mm -hmm. he'll be there and he'll tell you. And yeah. you don't be silent. That's right. Let it out. You know, you're not yeah. gonna feel well. If you don't live it out, you say, man, I should have said this. I know he wanted me to say this, and I didn't say it. But, you know, let it out. Let it go. Turn loose. With God on your side, who can defeat you? That's it. Say this with me. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. I'm an overcomer. And I cannot be defeated. That's right. Praise God. I'm a child of God. I'm on God's winning team. And you know who's who's backing me. You know, when David uh, faced Goliath, you know, he knew who was facing it, who, who was uh, with him. God is with me. I'm on God's side. I'm on the winning team. I don't care who, who's waiting for you out there. I don't care what giants you're facing on a daily basis. I'm a winner because yes. God is with me. God, I'm on God's side. Amen. amen. <laughs> let go and let God. Yes. <clears throat> motivates us to receive him to serve him and to be used of him mm -hmm. to be a witness to complete our mission and be heaven bound yes amen man it makes me feel good mm -hmm. you know i used to say things i wasn't happy about <laughs> mm -hmm. now i'm confessing the word yeah. praise god and be a winner for him you know receive and serve him a lot of us need to do this we need to just be there for him. Be here's the thing is be available. Yes. Yeah. A lot of times he's knocking, he's calling, and we're not receiving, mm -hmm. and we're not making ourselves available. Mm -hmm. Make yourself available because he put you there, he put you on this mission, yes. and now make yourself available Amen. so that he can direct you which way to go. Okay. Amen. Where to go? Ephesians two and six and New King James says, and raised us up together and made us sit in heavenly together in heavenly places mm -hmm. in Christ Jesus. Yes. You know, hey, this world is, this earth is not my home. Heaven is my home. Mm -hmm. I'm just passing through. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> Praise God. Philippians 3 and 20 says this, For our citizenship is in heaven, from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, if you don't know, get it right, because heaven is your home. Yeah. Especially if you've confessed Jesus as Lord and Savior. You've made this decision to receive him. Don't wait for somebody else to decide for you. Mm -hmm. So what well, they said, or he said, or she said, mm -hmm. you know, that he can't use me. Or I've done this, can't be forgiven. No, the Bible says he'll forgive and forget. Yes. So we need to forgive, forget, and throw it out. Yeah, yeah. And not bring it up anymore. That's why it's so important. He says, renew your mind uh -huh. with the word of God. Because it's a battlefield. The mind is the battlefield. Yeah. And that's what the enemy uses. It's the mind. Mm -hmm. To put thoughts there. Mm -hmm. Bring things to you. Bring your past back to you. And say, you know, hey, remember this? Mm -hmm. And then you say, it's past. It's gone. Mm -hmm. if, he's, if God has forgotten about it, yeah. you forget about it. That's it. Amen. He's accuser now. Philippians 4, 3, uh, 13, 14 says this. Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended, but one thing I do, forgetting those things which are what? Behind me and reaching forward to those things which are ahead. Yeah. I press 
towards the goal for the prize of the upward call of God of, of God in Christ Jesus. So <laughs> don't be a prisoner of your past. Amen. We're pressing on. Mm -hmm. That means we're going home. Mm -hmm. Press on, child of God. Amen. Don't hold back anymore. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. The day of the great feast comes and no one takes time to go. <laughs> uh, you see, I had it on here. See if it stayed on. Anyway, the big wedding comes and uh, the king invites in the, in the gospels, in the gospels, but he invites them to the feast of his son and send out servants to call those who were invited to the um, uh, marriage feast, but they would not come. Again, he said, send his other servants, tell those who were invited, come, uh, behold, I have prepared a, di a dinner. My cattle and the families are killed, and all things are ready to come to the marriage feast, but they made excuses. Yes. They would not come. Amen. He's called us but we make excuses for not making ourselves available. All right. Amen. So they all had excuses for rejecting this invitation. They were abundantly blessed. They were too successful. They were too rich. Mm -hmm. They were too much to themselves. Yeah, yeah. And that's what we need to avoid. Mm -hmm. Just taking care of self, me, myself, <laughs> and I. Amen. Oh, Jesus. They all begin to make an excuse. Mm -hmm. The first one says, I have just bought a field. Yeah. <laughs> and wanted to inspect it. Oh, Poor business to buy property which you have not even seen. Mm -hmm. Inspect it before buying it. That's yeah. a sorry excuse. <laughs> I, I bought a field. You haven't even seen it yet. <laughs> Why would I want to buy a field that I haven't seen? Mm -hmm. That's mm -hmm. poor business. Mm -hmm. That's not right. But he made an excuse. Mm -hmm. uh, I, yeah. I have an excuse. I can't go. Yeah. <clears throat> Second one says, I have just bought five pair of oxen and want to try them out. <laughs> try them out before buying? <laughs> could be old, could be worthless, could be incapable of doing their job. That's it. It's a lame excuse. Mm -hmm. You don't know what you're buying, but you're spending money mm -hmm. for this. Oh, well, that's okay. I have money. I can spend mm -hmm. some money. Mm -hmm. No. The third one says, I have just uh, been married and I cannot come. I could have left his wife. He could have left his wife for a few hours and he, and he didn't. He was not asked to divorce his wife, That's but right. to attend a feast. That's a mm -hmm. worth excuse. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't make any more excuses. Mm -hmm. God wants you to do things. And the Bible says you can do all things all through things. Christ who strengthens yes, you. Yes, Amen. So we don't have to make excuses. When he calls us, we just say, here am I, Lord. Yes, me. Reasons why we didn't accept the invitation to the feast of salvation. Made excuses not to accept his invitation. Mm -hmm. He's calling us now. Have yeah. you received him? Some of us needs to hear this. Yeah. He's inviting you to come. Mm -hmm. He sacrificed his son. Yes, his is. son went and was crucified. And he bought our salvation. He paid yes, for, our salvation. for our salvation. And salvation is free. All you have to do is confess with your mouth. Yeah. And receive him. To come into your life, be your Lord and Savior. Praise but a few more excuses. Fear, mm -hmm. friends, jobs, mm -hmm. greed, procrastinations, mm -hmm. failures. We need to stop. Amen. Mm -hmm. I know I'm preaching to the choir. <laughs> <laughs> What's your excuse? <laughs> Think about the many times we have made excuses to God. Lord, I love to, but. You picked the wrong person. Mm. So Moses says, you know, you picked the wrong person. I can't tell. Noah says, what's a flood? <laughs> <laughs> Noah says, I never built an ark before. What's an ark? Mm. Mm -hmm. You picked the wrong person. I can't do it. Mm. Okay. I failed in everything. Mm. I failed all the time. Yeah. I'm too busy. It sounds... Familiar? I know you have a fear for yourself. <laughs> I'm not good enough. I'm not qualified. I can't. I can't do that. Mm. Whatever it is, we need to stop saying it. Yes. Yeah. I must 
turn loose of that but God excuse mm -hmm. and hold that holds us back and keeps us from receiving and enjoying all God has for us. Yeah. Amen. Jesus paid the price. He has given us salvation, heaven, blessings. So get off your cold Siyama and let's get busy and serve him. Amen. I mean, this is pretty basic. We just need to get busy for God. Yes. We're busy in everything else yeah. but Him. You know, All hey, right. I can't go to church today because mm -hmm. I can tell you, <laughs> I almost didn't come today because mm -hmm. I was not well. But I came anyway and said, Lord, by your stripes, I am here. And I'm going to be there. And the enemy tried to keep me from coming. Mm -hmm. But I say, no, I want to be there. And he's kept a lot of us from doing things. But we need to say, wait a minute. The Lord wants me to do this. And Lord, I'm doing this unto you. I'm, so, I'm your servant. And I'm going to do this unto you. Amen. Let's remember this. We can do all things through Christ. Amen. Amen. So. It's time to step out of your boats. This day, this year, and every day for Jesus. Start your new day and start your new year by accepting and serving God. Yes. Amen. Get back with the calling he has for us. You know the prodigal son? He told his dad, you know, hey, I've got an inheritance coming. Just give me what's coming to me and I'm out of here. And check out. And he found out, you know what? It's best to be a dad's house. It's best to serve God and be on God's side instead of the wrong side. Amen. Amen. So it's time to come home and not have that prodigal son attitude. Right. He never, listen, if you've never heard this before, I want you to know this. Whatever call he's got on your life, you'll never take it back. That's it. You'll never take it back. One day you'll have to stand in front of him and say, explain to him why you never answered the call he had for you. Mm -hmm. You know what you find out what calling you have by Having a relationship and yeah. spending time with him. What is it, Lord, you want me to do? Yeah. But he'll never, 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 never take it back. That's he never changed his mind. That's right. Amen. We do, not him. If there's a problem, it's not with him, it's with us. Right. <laughs> Amen. Amen. He never gives up on us. That's it. Why do we give up on ourselves? Hmm. Don't give up on yourself. Yeah. We make mistakes, we, we sin. But Lord, I've sinned against you. Please forgive me. And he'll forgive you. But it's time to dust yourself and get back on the road. Mm -hmm. Amen. Get back on that mission he's got you on. That's it. Whatever your mission is. Thank you, Lord. We must obey and step out. Philippians 4.13 again. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. In order to do what we have, uh, have to do. Expose and turn loose of all the but God excuses that are holding you back. Mm -hmm. Here's only a few. I only got a few. I'm not going to use a whole bunch, but here's the first one. Fear. Right. Fear. Mm -hmm. fear is this. Fear is the cares, the worries, the anxieties, the unqual, the unfit, mm -hmm. the panic, the alarm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not going there. <laughs> the approval of men. Let's go to John chapter 12. Open your Bibles to John chapter 12. And let's see what the Word of God says. And that's what we use. We use the Word of God. Mm -hmm. John 12, chapter 12, and verses 42 and 43. 42 and 43 says, are you there? Mm -hmm. yeah. John 12, verse 42, 43. Nevertheless, among the chief rulers also may be believed in him because, uh, I don't think that's it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah, that's one. Yeah. Forty-two, John, twelve, forty-two. Yeah. Yeah, nevertheless, among the chief rulers also, many believed on him. Yes, sir, that's the one. Okay. But because of the Pharisees, they did not confess him. Yeah. Least they should be put out of the synagogue. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, for they love the praises of men more than the praises of God. Yeah. Come on, we hear this all the time. Mm -hmm. Even in, in Jesus' days, you know. Yeah. Yeah. I say, hey, wait a minute. Are you taking the right road? Everybody's going to the left. Mm -hmm. But God says, take the right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you better go where he tells you to go. Yes, yes. Amen. Uh, even if you don't get the approval of men. Right. I'm not seeking the approval That's of it. men. Right. I'm seeking the approval of, of God. Amen. <laughs> yeah. They notice that many believed on Jesus, Christ, Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. They wouldn't admit it to anyone because of their fears. I'm not yeah. going to say anything. I'm not going to say anything. We must stand for Jesus amongst the people we meet and will stand up for us. He stood up for us because he loved us. Yeah. And we must do the same thing. Yeah. We must stand yes. no matter what. Amen. Come on. <laughs> Hallelujah. Yeah. These people were ready to step out over the line, but they were ready, they were ready to step into God's best for them. But they did not because they cared more for the approval of men. Mm -hmm. For the world's approval more than the God's best. Yes. World is temporal. God is eternal. Yes. Amen. Amen. So you know what? Hey, you might want to please and get the approval of men just for a season. But seek him and please him. Be a God pleaser, not a man pleaser. Amen. Hallelujah. If we're going to enter into the blessings of God, number one, but God has to be exposed and overcome his fear of being rejected by people. Fear. Make a decision to serve God, even if people talk about you. Yeah. Call you names or make fun of you. Mm. Whatever, whatever they have to say. Yeah, I, I, I'm a Christian. Yeah, I'm a believer. Whatever they want to call you, it's okay. Mm. I'm a child of God. Yeah. You know, I'm not afraid. You know, I used to be in that crowd mm. calling Christians to names. Mm. Now, I'm a believer. Yeah. Now, I'm a pastor. Mm. <laughs> Praise God. Amen. The ones that laugh and ridicule, you are the very ones that will be calling for help. Yeah. Amen. I've had a lot of people do that. They say things about me being a Christian, and next thing you know is, could you pray for my mom? Can you pray for my dad? Could you pray for my family? Mm -hmm. They come to you. Say sorry. You know, oh my God. Never be afraid of what pe other people think of you yeah. or say yeah. about you. Know who you are in Christ. Uh -huh. See yourself the way he sees you. Yes. Amen. See the way he sees you. And he doesn't see you a, a loser. Yes, he doesn't see you a uh, least. He, he sees you a winner. He sees you a champion. Mm -hmm. Amen. And this is the way you need to see yourself. Yeah. Know that he has a calling and a divine destiny for you. That's it. And he's not finished with you. That's it. We're pressing on. Each and every day mm -hmm. is new. Mm -hmm. Amen. So let's press on with him. Let's not give up. There's more and more. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Don't fear them. Love them. The power of love is the most powerful force there is. Yeah. Because God is love. Yes. <laughs> Amen. First John 4 and 8 says, But anyone who does not love does not know God. Uh -huh. For God is love. So let's know this. And here's another one. John 3, 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his yes. only begotten son. Amen. That's it. So it says, Whosoever believes in him should not perish, yeah. but have eternal yes. life. Mark 10, 16 says, mm -hmm. I am sending you out as sheep amongst wolves. Uh -huh. So be as wise as snakes and harmless as doves. <laughs> Anytime you step out, be ready. Mm -hmm. You spend time with him, prepare yourself mm -hmm. because you won't step out and there's going to be mm -hmm. giants waiting for you. No, there's yeah. going to be storms out there waiting yes. for you. There's going to be yeah. all these things waiting on you. But yeah. I'm not fearing. I'm stepping out of faith. Okay, fear is one of the biggest excuses, you know, mm. because 
I feel I'm unqualified. Mm -hmm. I feel like I can't do it. Brother so and so, sister so and so, they can do it, but mm -hmm. not me. No, you can. Because the Bible says you can do all things through Christ. So stand up for Jesus. Don't be afraid of what others think or say. <laughs> when the Holy Spirit tells us, you must do, do it. Don't hesitate. Just do it. Amen? <laughs> Allow God to use you. Be available. Be a world changer. Thirst and hunger for more of Him. Isn't it awesome? Yeah. I'm a world changer for God. Man, you can, you know, you pray for people all around the world. You don't have to be there. That's it. You just know. You can pray. Yeah. You yeah. hear and say, well, um, you know, I can't do something. You don't feel sorry for them. Right. Pray. Right. The love and compassion of God mm -hmm. is in you. And you say, Lord, bless my brother. Bless my sister. Bless these children. Bless, change this thing around the world. Mm -hmm. Wherever it happens to be. Pray yeah. and not worry. Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah. And you can do it. I know you can. Yeah. <clears throat> When we step out in obedience to God, we will become the answer to somebody's prayer. Yes. That's it. Mm -hmm. Somebody pray. It says in Second Chronicles 7 14, if my people pray, mm -hmm. we're his people. Yes. And we can pray. It doesn't say if everybody prays. Yes. It says if my people pray. Yeah, right. So you be one of those people that prays. Amen. And this he's gonna heal our land, forgive yes. our sins and free, heal this land. Everybody's talking about going back the way we were. Uh -huh. you know? Well, if you want your land healed, start praying. Mm -hmm. Amen? Yes, pray, is. pray, pray. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Mm -hmm. Amen. To love is to serve. Uh -huh. And to serve is to love. You can write that down. Amen? To love is to serve, and to serve is to love. If you have a need, then give. <laughs> give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, press down, shake it again, and run it over, so men give it to your bosom. Amen. The opposite of fear is what? Faith. Believers, believers live by faith. Mark 11 22 says, Have faith in God. Uh -huh. Or have the God kind of faith. Romans 1 17 says, The just shall live by faith, Amen. not fear. If you're fearing something, uh -huh. then it's time to go in front of the Father. And get, mm -hmm. you know, renew. Mm -hmm. Lord, I need to touch you. Yes. And then get energized. Never yes. unplug yourself from the power source. Yes, <laughs> That's yes, your yes. power source, isn't it? Yeah. And we, we got to stay connected. He's the vine. We're the branches. Yes. And we're not going to break off. <laughs> St. Corinthians 5 7 says, For we walk by faith and not by sight. We walk by faith and not by fear. Yeah. If you're not in faith, you're in fear. Right. And you're letting things mm -hmm. cause fear to come. So guess what? I'm not going to be moved by that. New Living Translation says, For we live by believing and not by seeing. Mm -hmm. I'm believing in what the Word of God says. Mm -hmm. And we, you need to do the same thing. Yeah. Read and believe. Read and be obedient. Amen. Amen. Hmm. If we're to enter into His fullness, we must let go of the but God excuses of fear. Amen. Right. Second, I mean, Second Timothy one and seven says this: For God has not given us a spirit of fear, uh -huh. but of timidity, but of power, of love, and of self-discipline or strength of mind. Yes. It's not given a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and of a sound, sound mind. mind. Amen. This is not from God. Mm. The fear is not from you. That's it. Every day. Begin every day by stepping out in faith and not fear. Yes. Amen. For we live by faith mm -hmm. and not fear. That's it. <laughs> Here's number two is uh, procrastination. No. <laughs> I give you a definition for it. Uh, but now I'll do it mañana I'll do it tomorrow I'll do it the next day or someday <laughs> it's postponing putting off or uh, stalling or you know what is a fancy word uh, I'm going to reschedule <laughs> we want to reschedule this okay? 
<laughs> says the frogs covered the land of Egypt in Exodus 8, chapter 8, verses 1 through 10. Mm. God told Moses, tell Pharaoh, let my people go. Mm -hmm. They may serve me and worship me. Mm. If you don't, I will bring trouble to your whole country with frogs. Plague the frogs. <laughs> mm. And Pharaoh caused Moses, listen, he did, he did so thank God. Pharaoh did so thank God. He didn't let his people go. Yes, so did. the uh, plague of frogs came. Mm -hmm. And here it says, Pharaoh calls Moses, pray to the <laughs> God to take the frogs away. Uh -huh. I mean, frogs was everywhere. <laughs> it could be anywhere. Everywhere you went was frogs. Yep. So he says, pray to your God mm -hmm. and tell them to take the frogs away. <laughs> Moses <clears throat> said to Pharaoh, Tell me when. <laughs> Tell me when. Oh boy. And Pharaoh says, do it tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> so I gotta spend yeah. another night. Yeah. Another with day frogs. <laughs> with frogs because I'm putting it off for tomorrow. Mm -hmm. That's procrastination. Yeah. <laughs> he could he says, Tell me when. He could have said now. Right now. <laughs> and they could have been gone. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But no, he says, uh, tomorrow. <laughs> Manana. We, we we have a habit of saying that lot. Yeah. Uh, Manana, tomorrow. <laughs> Since your choice, you choose. Mm -hmm. They had to spend one more night with, with the frogs. frogs. Uh, Pharaoh had a choice, but instead of saying today, he said tomorrow. Mm -hmm. You had some choices, mm -hmm. and instead of putting it off, procrastinating yeah. and rescheduling it, you could have said now, today, <laughs> this day. <laughs> You don't have to spend one more night with the frogs that's or it. whatever it is that's troubling you, right, right. holding you back. Don't let your troubles trouble you. Yes. You trouble your troubles. Yes. Amen. That's good. That's good. Come on then. Don't let your problems talk to you. You speak to your problems. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't magnify your problems. Magnify your God. Mm -hmm. Don't forecast, Don't procrastinate any longer. Just do it. Yeah. Because he says you can do all things through all Christ. Things. So quit putting it on. Yeah. He's just waiting on us to do something. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I've heard so many people say, well, I'm just waiting on God. Yeah. <laughs> no, he's, no, he's waiting on us. The problem's not there. The yeah. problem is here. Yeah. <laughs> we need to fix this. We need to fix this. <laughs> number two, but, but number two, but has to be exposed and removed. The butt of procrastination, mm -hmm. put it off until later. Mm. What should be done, should be done right now. Mm. Coming into it to God's best, amen? Yes. Amen. But well, procrastination response is, as soon as uh, I feel like it, Yeah. Uh, as soon as uh, whatever, mm -hmm. you wanna fill in the blank. Yeah. As soon as this or whatever. Yeah. No, do it now. We're putting it off. Quit rescheduling. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to go from there to the last one here. <clears throat> Number three, I just have three. Okay. Failure. Failure. Discouragement, disappointment, distractions, let down, setbacks, failures, mm -hmm. lack. Jeremiah 4, uh, excuse me, Jeremiah. Uh, chapter 1, verse 4 and 5, New Living Translation. Let's go there. Jeremiah. Book of Jeremiah. The full part. Jeremiah. What's a verb, bro? Jeremiah, what? Jeremiah 45, you said? Uh, no, uh, chapter no. 1. Oh, chapter 1. It's been a while since I've been there. Okay, one what? Uh, verses 4 and 5. There's no 45 in Jeremiah 1. No, 4, four and 5. 4 and 5. Oh, okay. Don't touch your ears. Don't touch your ears. Okay. Verse 4. Okay. I'm in the book of Jeremiah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Jeremiah uh, chapter 1 verse 4 and 5 uh -huh. says 4 and 5 
And the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou came forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee and ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Amen. Amen. So that's how well God knows us. Mm -hmm. He knows us very well. Yes. From the womb, even before he formed us, yes. he knows you. Amen. And he, he, he qualified you, he called you mm -hmm. on this mission. So you want to know anything about your mission and your call, yeah. you go to him and spend time with him. That's it. It's called a uh, relationship. Mm -hmm. Spend time with him. Full time, not just part time. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. So Jeremiah calls in first vision, says, the Lord called Jeremiah as a young man. He chose him and anointed him before he was born. Chose him before he was even formed in the womb to fulfill a worldwide ministry. Yeah. He has called every one of us. Mm -hmm. He has great plans for you. None yeah. of them include defeat. That's it. This is what you have to remember. Yeah. I can do all things through all Christ things. who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. Philippians 4.13. Yes. Amen. Amen. Some, things, some of these things are just basic yeah but it's okay that's what the bible is basic right. instruction before, before you leave the earth, the earth. Amen. amen and uh just go by what the word of god says don't try to confuse it don't try to add, add to it. That's it here's what jeremiah says i can't oh god but i don't know how to speak huh. but i'm only a boy huh. i'm too young what's your excuse you can feel that in i'm not this i'm not that mm -hmm. we need to stop those and just trust God. Amen. If he put you here, he's your call, your call. And you don't need men's approval. God said, don't say that to Jeremiah. And he says that to us. You must go where I sent you. Say whatever I tell you. Don't be afraid of people. I will be with you. And I will take care of you. They're close right there. Yeah. He says, you must go where I sent you. Say whatever I tell you. Yeah. Don't be afraid of people. Amen. I will be with you. Yeah. And I will take care of you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. He's always with you. Amen. Amen. Remember the the uh, poem of the uh, footprints in the sand. Yeah. He's with you. When you feel like he's abandoning you, no. Uh -huh. It's you. Yeah. It feels that way, but he's always there because he's he says, there. I won't leave you nor forsake you. Amen. Amen. So let's remember that. God calls, he equips, he anoints, he appoints, and he assigns, provides power yes. with the call. He has given us the measure of faith needed for the call. Mm -hmm. Don't fear, don't procrastinate, and don't feel like you failed. Yeah. Have faith, step out. Amen. Get Amen. over it, get over it, <laughs> get over it, and get on it. Yeah. Don't let failures and setbacks hold you back that's it it's a thing of the past yeah amen you don't want to live in the past you live that's in the it. now now faith is amen so let's remember that father we just thank you for your precious word yes Ooh, help us lord to live by your word yes. and do and be whatever you have called us to be father god thank you so much bless those father god that are listening right now father god we're not going to close until you have an opportunity. If you never ask Jesus, we're almost done with this month. We're almost done with this year. Mm -hmm. If you never accepted Christ, this is the time. Yes. Where you just say, Lord, I failed to you. I repent. I've sinned against you. Mm -hmm. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. And you know what? It's time to yeah. get busy for God. Yes. Because he just says, hey, it's time to get up, dust yourself, mm -hmm. and press on. Mm -hmm. I've called you, and I've equipped you. So yeah. it's talking about you, whoever's listening. Amen. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> if you have sickness in your body, just you, know that by Jesus Christ you're here. Amen. Amen. And uh, I have to lay hands on myself because I was not well this morning. I was up early, early this morning. And uh, I didn't want to be here. I didn't, I didn't feel like being here. <clears throat> I thought I was going to the ER. <laughs> I thought I was going to the hospital. But thank God, by his stripes I'm healed. And you also, yeah. by Jesus' stripes, you were healed. So receive your healing, amen? amen. That's the main thing you do is say, God, I receive your healing. Yes. Father, we just thank you. 
Thank you, Lord. It's time to give. Those who are watching or listening, would like to give your tithe, your offerings, you can still do so. Just go to our website on the screen there and hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC, PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas 79843. And just want you to know, God loves you and we love you. God bless everyone.